NFL player strikes back at daily fantasy sports titan FanDuel Garko sued FanDuel regarding all National Football League players for working with his name and likeness in the advertisements and also the contests it provides without compensation. FanDuel utilizes a handful of players' names in their extensive advertisements and features pictures of players inside real money fantasy sports games it hosts. The lawsuit that was filed in Maryland in federal court, improves a litany of problems facing FanDuel and DraftKings, one other pillar from the burgeoning daily fantasy sports industry. Though DraftKings isn't named in Garco's lawsuit, it faces a pack of class action suits because of consumers over the scandal latest research by overleaked information allegedly impacting the integrity with the contests. This could be the latest chapter in a assault on these lenders, said McLean-based lawyer Seth Bereswag, who makes a speciality of sports and business. This is an important controversy. I think this really is going to carry on and turn this into a hornet's nest. Garco's suit presents another challenge to get a nascent industry caught off guard because of the response to its rapid growth. FanDuel entered 2008 and DraftKings followed several years later. The companies offer short-lived fantasy sports games where consumers risk cash the collective statistics of person-athletes. They are considered legal due to a carve-out for fantasy sports from the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act, enacted by Congress in 2006 to manage the burgeoning online poker industry. Daily Fantasy's popularity skyrocketed late not too long ago, along with a flood growth capital investment triggered a marketing blitz this fall since the new NFL season began. Sensing a way for profit and fan engagement, professional leagues jumped aboard. Major League Baseball has equity stake in DraftKings, along W.